Hey guys, it's Julie with Raj Running, and I am going to share a little video about Simply Snackin' products. I received these about two months ago, a little more than a month ago, beginning of March. And I've been experimenting with them as far as taking them to the gym or just a snack, um, going on trail races with them. I've given them to a couple friends and family to get some other general feedback on them. And I have to say that they have been really well received by everybody. I think they're super convenient and I'm looking forward to ordering more for future races. And we all know that I have a lot of different like food allergies and food intolerances. So it's been hard for me over the last, well forever, to get the nutrition that I need, but especially hard since I've discovered what my food problems are in order to get protein because I can't take a lot of prepackaged stuff with me and carbs and sugar and stuff has been easier to find, but the protein comes a lot of times from nuts, which I won't eat, and from I want to say dairy type things, but unfortunately a lot of the prepackaged dairy has the oils in it I can't eat, or it's made with skim milk, and I can't have skim, I have to have whole. So anyway, when I saw these products, I thought, oh my god, this sounds fabulous, because meat has the proteins in it, but I can't just be like carrying chicken and steak with me on the trails, right? No. Really not a good idea. So anyway, let me tell you a little bit about Simply Snackin', and then you can decide for yourself. I don't want to get any details wrong, so when I got it, I received all of this different information in the mail with it. So I'm going to directly read from the bottom here about the company. Uh, Simply Snackin' is highly recognized for producing simply nutritious and delicious all-natural gourmet meat snacks. Guided by their philosophy that all natural foods optimize health, co-founders Tom and Sue Kremlick created Simply Snackin' with only the highest quality ingredients and without any artificial flavorings, colorings, chemicals, nitrates, or fillers. The wholesome meat snacks are produced by the family-owned business in Oshkosh, Wisconsin. Say that 10 times fast. So that's a little bit about it. Uh, there are six flavors that I'm aware of and the different flavors are for the beef, teriyaki, dried beef sirloin with pineapple. I did not try that flavor. I gave that to both Jason and I want to say my sister and they both liked it. Um, I can't have pineapple so that's why I didn't eat that. There is dried beef sirloin with cranberries and blueberries. Then there's also dried beef sirloin with apples and cherries. So both of those flavors were pretty good and those have, I'm looking at this, like natural beef, with the different fruits and um, no artificial ingredients, fillers, MSG. These are gluten-free and lactose-free, which I know is important to a number of people. In the chicken family, they have dried chicken breast with black bean salsa, which is my favorite. That's the flavor that I was gunning for when I said I would accept this review. I have become a huge Chipotle fan. I love anything Mexican food, which essentially to me means rice and beans. When I'm running, I can't wait to go get rice and beans. Obviously, I can't be carrying that with me, even though I always joke around, I mean really ask Gail, that I wish I could just carry that with me. So here's a way to do that for me, and sometimes, ooh, fur, when I'm in the middle of the race, it's just such a nice treat compared to your generic pretzels and sugars and peanut butter and jelly and things like that. It's a little bit different, so I like that. There's also the dried chicken breast with Italian seasoning and Romano cheese, which to me sounds really heavy because it's like an Italian dinner kind of thing, but it really wasn't. It was nice. And then the dried chicken breast or teriyaki chicken breast with mangoes and papayas. Another one that I didn't eat, obviously, because I cannot have the tropical fruit. I also gave that one to Jason and he really liked it a lot, but he said it did have a little too much maybe of the tropical end of things compared to what you might be used to if you're going into this looking for a jerky or a traditional dried meat snack. And that's actually something my sister noted as well, that it was not jerky, it was good, but don't eat it expecting jerky. I can't comment on that, I've never had jerky in my life, so I didn't go into this with any expectations or anything. Um, 
I guess I would liken it to when people talk about eating meat-free products because I can say like vegetarian sausage, soy sausage compared to regular sausage. Is it a different flavor? Absolutely. Is there a way to eat it? Do I like it? Yeah, in fact, I somewhat like it more. So you just have to go in with different expectations. I have a couple of them over here of the Simply Snackin' just to kind of show you a size comparison and everything. Here is one of my favorites, the dried chicken breast with black bean salsa. And you can see it's about, I don't know, length of my hand. So, and maybe about like an inch, inch and a half wide. You know, just a, very convenient. You know, you can easily, like, got my pocket here. I don't know, I'm not gonna wear this on the trail. I don't know what I'm talking about. But yeah, no, real easy to carry with you. You can totally stuff a bunch of these in a pack or something. Um, look at this, like easily, you can like fold it in half. Obviously, it's still gonna be good. And just so you know, I'm gonna read the exact ingredients on this one. So the ingredients for dried chicken breast with black bean salsa. Skinless chicken breast meat, dehydrated vegetables, including red bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, tomato, black bean flakes, sea salt, cane sugar, spices, celery powder, garlic, natural extra extractives, I cannot talk today, of spices, and starter culture. So, I mean, yeah, everything in there was pronounceable. Everything in there was, to me, like a normal thing. The, when I went to the website, all of that stuff's listed. Their website's very user-friendly. It's very easy to order things. You can get the ingredients, the nutrition, anything that you want from it. And personally, I think it's a pretty reasonable price. I know that it may seem steep to people that are just looking for maybe a regular eat-it-all-the-time snack, but compared to other things that you take, running, goo packs, um, gels, things like that, it's very comparably priced. And in fact, for me, I'd rather eat the food food than the processed, gelatinized, who really knows what's going on there kind of food. So that's Simply Snacking. I really hope that you'll try it, and I'm glad that I got to share more about it with you.